Try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in So we got a Magic Dock, and this is a portable um, screen, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Now, what's cool about it? And there's some things that are not cool about it. I'm going to start off with what's cool about it. It's a 4K portable screen, and I don't know any other portable screens that are 4K. Like, it's not true 4K. It's more like the 3840 resolution. Uh, no, no, it is. It's no, sorry. I take it back, I take it back. It is full 4K resolution. 4096 times 2160. Now that is full 4K resolution. Absolutely mind blown, boggled, whatever you want to call it. Um, all my icons on there, got a bit of real estate, um, as normal, After Effects is really small. Uh, how big is this screen? This screen is 15.6 inches if I remember rightly. But everything's a lot smaller on 4K, so there you go. Um, so imagine that is true 4K there, and then you've got, this is what a normal 22, 24 inch screen would be if it was filled out on a normal 28 screen, um, like screen. So that's what you got right there. So that's pretty cool. So if I go and uh, get Premiere Pro up, you can see it a little bit more, like with the whole screen. And obviously this would be good for photo, editing and everything like that on the fly. The colours are not too crushed, you do get some nice blacks and stuff like from the screen. At the moment I've got it um, with like a nice bit of sun gleaming on the screen but I can still see what I'm doing, which is pretty cool. You've got enough room here to do like what you want to do with your special effects. It's for after effects and stuff, your little uh, projects there. And then you've got your little bits there where you can put in for your compositions and stuff on that side. And then obviously your compositions here. And then this is wider than normal, which I wouldn't normally have. But actually, he's saying that what? It's really tiny. But yeah, it's awesome. Not too bad for gaming as well. Um, you can play games on it. The things I don't like about the screen is that the colours need to be more accurate with RGB and the buttons are hard to press like an any monitor. For some reason they're always hard to press. You've got a lot of functions though. You've got brightness control, contrast control, eco where you can get movie, which I normally leave it in movie because warm and cool, cool looks too blue and um, warm looks too orange, which I do know that's meant to happen. You've got your HDMI, so it goes from mini HDMI to big HDMI. You use Type-C to uh, plug it in to get the power. Or at the moment, I've got this plugged in into a mains. The cable's not super long or anything like that, but they do give you, like for your country, the actual plug that you need. And then I don't, I think there's a 3.5 mil jack, if I remember rightly, as well yet. Yeah. So an audio on the side there, 3.5 mil jack and then you've got a display mini as well as a connection. So you do get quite a few bits of functionality. It's really thin, you get this nice little bracket as well, this metal br um, bracket, really holds the monitor really well. You could have it so it's flat up and uh, down like it to draw on if you really want to, or you could have it so, got to hold the stand probably now. Oh, get the stand, sort of stand up, there we go. Freaking hard with one hand. But it's got some nice rubber grips on there and it holds the monitor pretty well so you can have the monitor so it's more flat down like to your taste or the other way around it's up to you however you want to have it but yeah we've been looking at 4k 8k um like uh, pictures and video it was absolutely stunning but as i said the colors are not absolutely correct you have to change it yourself and everything like that but as I'm saying you've got loads of uh, options on the menu and the buttons I don't really like too much because they're a little bit confusing you've got on-screen display height position vertical position on-screen timer and transparency so you can have like this screen transparent to the background of whatever you're looking at you can reset everything if you want so I've resetted it and then you've got low blue light, so that means low blue light means uh, too much light when you're gonna go to sleep. It affects your sleeping patterns apparently and all that sort of stuff. 
Um, you've got volume, so it has its own little speakers in here. You've got your own little quick toggle, so brightness, contrast, and uh, saturation on here as well. And if I go into, if I can, which button is? So that's your on and off button, which is the bottom button at the back. And it's response time ain't too bad, it's pretty quick, so I turned it on, the screen's on. And there's my volume button, and you turn it up and down. So the last two buttons, so the one at the top to turn it up, the one at the bottom to turn it down. I go into here, I've got red, green, and blue, so RGB that I can muck about with. See what I mean? But the buttons are pretty fiddly. You've got eco mode, got DCR mode, um, and what's the other mode you've got in there? So if I go into movies real quick, there's standard, there's text, and there's game, and there's movie. Then you've got the color temp, so I go into that, change that to user, so you make your own user uh, definition, red, green, and blue. Warm, makes it pretty warm looking, depending on what you're doing, and cool. Then if I come out of that, go, Get out of this. This is what's annoying. The buttons are annoying. On every damn screen that I ever do, it's annoying. But basically, you can toggle around with the buttons and toggle around with the settings. The color ratio is pretty nice. I didn't realize it was true 4K. The other day, I thought it was actually uh, the ultra high definition, 38, whatever. I'm using a GTX 970 and I'm still producing 4K. Um, like graphics and stuff like that. You could use it for After Effects and Premiere Pro if you need to use it for something small. Editing pictures, because you can zoom in. Illustration, CAD work, everything like that. As long as you can zoom in, it'll be perfect. Um, watching um, content on here is pretty awesome. It's satisfying. It's a user experience that I like about it. It's got a little Magic Dot logo on there, and yeah, it's not too bad. And it ain't too expensive either. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. I think it's around 300 pounds, English pounds. Uh, US, I don't know how much it is or anything like that, but I'll leave a link in the description down below to all the people that follow this channel that are kind of from different countries and where you can buy this. But definitely, highly recommend it. Definitely would say, purchase the hell out of it, right with these links in the description down below. My team works really hard to go into the background, find the cheapest prices. So go and buy it, it's definitely worth it. You get um, HDMI cable, mini to uh, big, you get the power connector, you get a type C with it. Uh, and you get the right plug as well, depending on where you're from, you get the right plug to plug into your uh, premises. Uh, also, the plug cable's not that long, it's probably about 70 centimeters long, which is not that long for a screen. I would technically want it longer. You could probably use this for a camera as well and connect it up and like use it as an external monitor as well. There's loads of stuff you can do with it. Just get mini uh, HDMI and a converter and then you're on your way. Anyway, hope you like this video. It's a very interesting product. It's better than what they gave me before, which I thought that was decent. This is 4K, our ultimate 4K that you can't get any higher on a monitor. It's ridiculous, it really is. But it's really awesome. I recommend it, 10 out of 10. Well, actually, I'll give it 9 out of 10 because of the RGB. Like if I had a color corrector with me right now and I could get it spot on, I'll probably give it 10 out of 10, but I'll give it a nine out of 10 because it's perfect at the moment. Anyway, link in the description down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and like, comment and all that sort of stuff. And I'll get back and respond to you as quick as possible. Peace out.